Okay, so today I'll be teaching you guys on how to scup a skull, human skull, using ZBrush. And then if this is the first time uh, you're using ZBrush, probably it gives you uh, an overall idea. And then so that's a time-lapse video, and then it won't be running at a correct speed. And then um, if you want to know more in detail or you have questions, you, you can always like leave the comments below. And then so uh, I was starting with the sphere, and then I make it a poly mesh 3D. So, and then you can see like, I started to scalp the eyes because uh, in ZBrush, you don't seem to have like front, side and back view. So you might need something to start with. And then so that it gives you an idea like where the, the object uh, it's facing. So right now I'm using a move tool. So if you want to know like what's the shortcuts, you can click a B, B for brush, M for move and then V for that tool. So, and then I'm doing a bit of like rotation so that it face the correct view and then, uh, yeah, reshaping the, the scales a little bit. So to make sure it looks more like a scale because initially you're starting with a sphere. So of course you have to take a bit of time to modify and then, uh, on and off, like you see some of the scales like popping up. It's because like I have scuttled that before. So I have some references and then I got it from the internet. So it's good to, to always like do some research and then how does it look like so that you can get a better uh, shape out of it Okay, while you're sculpting. And most of the time, I'll be using like a clay build up. So clay build up, uh, it's a very, very good tool for you to build up like layers and uh, getting uh, more and more detail while you're sculpting. So basically, uh, the standard brush that you have uh, by default, it's I wouldn't say like it's not useful, but um, I only use it for uh, costumes like most of the time. And then because uh, clay build up gives you a more uh, kind of like a traditional uh, brush feel. So while you're sculpting, you get more and more uh, details and stories about it. Okay, so you can say that like um, I'm starting to, to rough out uh, the the eye socket okay so we have some stronger structures and then basically if you want to create the nose uh, firstly you have to pull out the shape and then after that like start using a mask so a mask like how do you do a mask basically you can hold control key and then you can mask out those areas and then it won't it won't be affected basically so uh, i'm sure you guys know what is masking so like in case you didn't know, so basically mass is an area that it protects the whole thing. Like, so you won't be able to touch on it. So right now, um, I'm drawing a mass on the nose and then after that, I control and then click outside the, the empty canvas to invert the mass. And then uh, start scoping the shapes of the nose like following a reference. So of course, like I did a bit of mistakes like where I pull out too much. But in ZBrush, uh, you don't have to worry about it because in you can always like change if you want to, and if you don't like it, you can shift, hold shift key, and then smooth it out, uh, and so end up you can back to normal default, and then you can re-sculpt again or remask again. And so uh, most of the time, like while you are doing this. Uh, there are a few like important uh, tools that you might want to use and uh, consider. So of course uh, you can exclude a standard brush and then you can probably use uh, clay build up. Clay, clay build up is the, is the thing that we, we use all the time. And then after that, you can use a bit of clay tubes. Okay, clay tubes is for you to enhance uh, details. So right now we're working on the cheekbones, okay. So you can see that like at first my uh, cheekbones doesn't seem to be that perfect. And then after that, uh, because to get some solid edges and surfaces, I started to use um, po a polish, polish brush or some hard surface brush. And for info, hard surface brush, uh, you have like BH, H polish, okay, high polish. And then you have like trim dynamic BTD. Okay, so uh, it's the shortcut BTD. So you can trim off certain surfaces that you think it's too round. Okay, then you can reshape them properly. Then you can see that I add a bit of um, expressions. Okay, uh, of course I know like for for scale you don't you shouldn't have any expressions, but uh, it's just like having fun, you know, like while you're working on 
and art so that's an art so uh, give a bit of fun and then enjoy uh, what you do and then want to get the overall shape done so I started to, to pull up the shape of the mouth okay so at first like I draw a, a mask around it and then invert by using control holding control and I click outside and after that like uh, using a move tool to move things out Okay, so that's the previous uh, model that I have. So right now to, to work out a thief, so working out a thief, like if you were the first timer, it's a bit challenging, like thinking of like, how do I sculpt it? Okay, but I'll tell you that the trick right away, so it's using masking, okay? So at the first lesson, like you most probably will be looking into how can we use mask very well, and then how do we apply mask into different situations, and then how do we use mask to help us on the sculpting process? Okay, and by the way, I'm not sculpting a skull that is like really realistic and following how many teeths that we have like for human skulls, uh, but just doing like an overall like fun and kind of like learning a set lesson. And then uh, basically it's it's my own <laughs> design. I'm not too sure like how many teeths that we have like for human, but yeah, that's what I do. Okay. So uh, I was doing the the Z ads, and then after that, like in between one of those, like I was doing like Z sub. So basically, Z sub it's like pushing in the surface, and then if you're not too sure uh, which one is Z sub, so with every tool that you choose, like you can put an alternate, okay, hold an alternate key, and then you can get a brush that push in the surface. Okay, so once I have the teeth like uh, masked out properly. So I add a bit of detail and then at the very, very end of the teeth. Okay, so hopefully not every teeth it's, teeth it's round. Okay, so start sculpting the teeth out. And after that, I'll, I'll invert the mask and then work on the gum. Okay, even though like the scalp doesn't have a gum, but yeah, you know what I mean. But after all, like, even though like things have been sculpted, you still feel uh, that skull looks a bit fat, don't you? Okay, but don't worry, as I say, like in ZBrush, you can always change anything you like, okay? So using ZBrush, it's like a, it's like a tool, okay? I always call it like a, a, a tool or a software that it's created by the god, like you can do anything you like and I'm basically recreating reality, okay? Okay, so I'm getting the jaw bones out. Okay, trying to refine a few things. Okay, so at the moment, uh, we're still getting the, the overall shape. And then for first timers, and then sometimes you might feel like, wow, so I get to learn about like alphas. So uh, we'll be looking alphas into alphas in a while. So alphas is a very, very interesting thing that, that you can add a lot of details. But uh, for uh, from my com comments to the first timer, so I wouldn't suggest you to go with alpha first, okay? So you know what is alpha in a, in a short while. So try to get the overall shapes like correct. Okay, make sure the shapes are good before you move on to details and alphas. So it still looks like an alien skull after all, like the back of the head, it's, it's too long and then it's not in the correct proportion. You can over, always modify that, no worries. And then also feel like the bottom of the jaw is a bit too too long. So I'll you know, like uh, revisit the, the shape and then re-modify it just a bit. Okay, and then uh, start to rough out more details. Okay, then there's also one more tool that you guys can uh, use while you're sculpting. It's called Damien Standard. Okay, so whenever you see like I draw a line across like the bottom of the teeth, so that is a tool like a brush uh, with the shortcuts of like BDS, okay, brush, Damien standard, and then you, you can use it to cut the lines. Okay, if like for example, you want to you wanna do a scratch, you can use Damien standard and then put a line across.
I'm having fun, like, you know, playing with expressions. So, almost done. So, refining the, the overall shape of the skulls. And then, like, in a while, I'll be sort of looking into alphas and details. So, of course, whenever you feel like you're not having enough um, polygons, you can always, like, click divide. Okay, the more divide you have, like the more polygons you have. Of course, uh, we try to avoid like dividing uh, the whole polygons at first. Like, even whenever you started as a from from a sphere, uh, you divide up to like level five, level six. That is not advisable because uh, in order for for the shape that looks good, you have to start from low poly. I mean, like, not really low, like, it's like 100 polygons. You can't do anything with 100 polygons. So we'll be starting from something that is uh, uh, reasonable, about like five to 6,000. And then you can also see that right now, uh, details are adding up, and then I start to get uh, some damage onto the skull uh, by using clay tubes. And then for the info, clay tubes are B, C, T. And then that previous uh, shader. So for the info shader, it's it's a material that apply to to your ZBrush object. And then uh, of course you have different different kinds of shader. So certain shaders that you are having flat uh, lighting, and certain shaders that you have uh, reflections. And then it looks more interesting. So at the moment, uh, I'm using this. Okay, sort of cracks using the new standard and then refine the, the edges a little bit. And then also I started to add a bit of like erosion uh, effects because thinking that like the skull has been there like for a long time and then there must be some damage uh, applied to the skull. So you're starting to, to work on the story part, basically. Okay, like even though whenever you sculpt a character, so of course you couldn't have a character where uh, it's it comes with like perfect like perfect skin. So uh, you need to have some damage, you need to have some story, you add a bit of like aging effects to, to the whole thing. Okay, so basically uh, that's it that we're done with the with the skull. So hopefully you guys uh, Enjoy the uh, enjoy the video, and then you understand the overall workflow, how to start sculpting in ZBrush. And then, if you have any questions, please feel free to drop a comment below. And then if you want to know more about ZBrush, you can always uh, leave me a message. And thanks, and good day.